Time drop of fam. Here we are again, third straight day completing the trifecta. My first ever time doing this. Three straight days of Staples Center. And this one against the Milwaukee Bucks will be the first game this season for the Clippers without Kawhi and Paul George, who are being rested. I know they have some fake injury designation, but they're being rested. We saw them yesterday. And it's because this game is within 22 hours of the last one with daylight savings plus a one hour earlier than to yesterday game. I mean, I think it technically doesn't violate the resting policy because they have injury designations, but they, the league is violating a humanity policy. What is going on here? I mean, would they even have done this in the 60s? I don't know. It's, it's classic because the Lakers are priority tonight and the Kings were priority last night. So when you're third wheel and it's, we're not going to kick you, uh, I'm gonna kick you on the way out. That's what's gonna happen. So I'm disappointed that Kawhi and Paul are not playing. I would have liked if at least one of them played. This is only the second game they've been load managed all season, both of them. And only the sixth game either of them have missed all season. Game number 63, home game number 31, vlog number 22. I am almost at my season high. So I think my season high is 23 in the regular season, 24 overall in the 2022 season. So we should be passing that soon. Let's get inside. I'm here a little bit earlier than this game, not like yesterday where I caught in after the first. And it's my second time in three days seeing Giannis and Dame and the Bucks. And I hadn't seen the Milwaukee Bucks ever my whole life. So let's get it. Hope you guys enjoyed that last video, by the way. It was electric and it was long, but I tried to get everything in there. This is the Milwaukee Bucks. That's one draw. That was the State, number zero. And the other draw is Florida State, number five. I'll be Beasley. At center out of Stanford, wearing number 11, Brooke Lopez. At one forward from Greece, number 34, Giannis Antetokounmpo. And the other forward from Marquette, number 99, Jamie Crowder. And coach of Milwaukee Bucks, Doc Rivers.
a great first half that was. Give me your thoughts. What's working so well? It's actually a lot smoother than yesterday's game. Yeah. And uh, PJ Tucker's playing amazing. Yeah. A lot better than that. I'll be. He would be a lot rougher because he hasn't played well. But apparently he's been putting the practice in. And yeah, we're doing a lot better than yesterday. I'd say, even though it's a bit tight right now, we're doing. It's a lot smoother. And a lot better than yesterday's game. You think we can pull this one out? You know, obviously Milwaukee's a good team. They're going to make a push in the second half. Do you think come out with this one, get two wins in a row? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Right, right now, by the looks of it, the one I'm just going good. All right. Yeah. Thank you, brother. All right, guys. All right. Explain to me the Daniel Tice love. Daniel Tice, despite popular opinion, he's good. He's good. He's Daniel good Tice player. is good. Can yeah. confirm. What what fans are we, Maury? Yeah, we're Celtics fans. We're diehard Boston Celtics fans. I went to UMass when Tice was there, so he was an impressive starter. Tice went to UMass? No, I'm saying I'm oh, yes. UMass when Tice was the Celtics. <laughs> yeah, he, he's been great for us. There we go. Go Tice. He's go go guy. Clips. Where'd you guys get those made? Go Clips. I forget. I, I Googled like Daniel Tice shirt and he's popped up. <laughs> yep. Appreciate it, fellas. Right on. Alright, we got a loyal John Jumper fan here, Marquise. They um I'm I'm pretty surprised. They're actually going out there and just fighting. So um I hope they keep that up in the second half because Yeah, you know the second half has to be a little tricky, but I have faith in the team. Give me your thoughts on Zoo right now. He's been guarding Giannis as the primary defender and he's doing it okay. Yeah, he been yeah, he's been doing pretty well. I mean, um, yeah, <laughs> that's all I can say right now. <laughs> you winning this game? Yeah, de definitely win this game. Right, they keep if they keep it up, they they definitely win this game. Love the conference. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. All right, buddy. That was a good first half. Even though we're shorthanded, we're competing. What stood out to you in that half? Uh, what stood out to me is definitely our defense. We're getting some fast breaks in. Uh, PJ Tucker with the threes. Yeah. Obviously surprising. What about Amir Coffey? He had a pretty strong half on both ends. Do you think he's been uh, good to see him play well? Yeah, it's good to see him play well. Uh, he's been growing. I mean, it, it, it's nice to see him grow as a player, and I like how he's playing. We win in this game. It's a tough team, but we look pretty good right now. Yeah, of course we're winning. Clips. There we go. Appreciate you.
outside Stable Center with the Clippers without 2-1-3. First game without 2-1-3 this season. I've just lost a hard-fought one of the Bucks. DL2, three nights in a row we've been here. Yeah. Thoughts? Uh, I mean, it's been kind of rough with the less than 24-hour turnaround yesterday. I can only imagine how the players are going through it. Um, but, you know, it's been fun. Three games in a row. Uh, they were all pretty fun. We lost this one, but it was a great game. You know, we got to see Brandon Boston play, get active. Terrence had a great stat line. Coffee played. Everybody played great. It just wasn't enough. Um, I don't even want to say it wasn't enough. The Bucks just played really well. It's like you said earlier, we kind of needed the Bucks to play bad, and they didn't. You know, they came to play just like we did, and it was a solid game to be at. Any standout performers, you know, some positives to take, guys that didn't usually get as much burn to perform today? Brandon Boston Jr., um, he had fantastic defensive presence. He dunked on Giannis, got a tech for taunting. You got to let men be men, you know what I mean? Like, just, just let him dunk on the two-time MVP, the one-time champion, and just get his shit off, you know what I mean? It's kind of annoying to, to have to watch that. Um, it was good to see Bones, you know, get some more consistent minutes as well. Um, he got pulled a couple times, or at least once for Harden when he was having, like, a hot streak. He only comes out when Harden's in and vice versa. They like, okay, he's okay. like true backup. Yeah, so it, it, it's not like he's getting pulled then. It's just, you know, it's time for him to come up. Right. Um, and, and he will have consistent minutes with Russ out with a broken hand, which I'm pretty confident he's been playing through um, for a while. So it just goes to show the toughness of the guys, the next man up mentality, and hopefully Bones is going to, you know, be a consistent guy for these next couple of games. Minnesota next. Feeling good about it? Uh, yeah, absolutely. All right. Thanks, DL2. Appreciate you, bro. Outside Staples Center, where the Clippers have just taken a narrow L to the Milwaukee Bucks without 2-1-3. It was a fun game, though, Mason. How are you feeling about it? I mean, I feel pretty good, all things considered. I mean, we did the best we could, given the circumstances. You know, I mean, first of all, I just sincerely hate you, schedule maker. This is the last chance you really get to screw with us in this way. And so, to, you went out on top. Congratulations. But now we're going to have our own building next year, so we're not going to get crazy things like this happening. So I feel good, all things considered. You know, Bucks played well. Any standout performers on our side? You know, guys that don't usually get some burn that you were happy to see place more and were impressed by? Or even guys that are in the rotation that you liked to see? Yeah, I mean, uh, Brandon Boston Jr., what a great game for him. He was getting some good steals. Yeah, doing... couldn't make shots, but defensively and all the other things, he was doing great. Oh, fantastic, yeah. Bones had a fairly decent game. He had a very good game, in my opinion. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he was pretty good. And then... B.J. Tucker was okay, you know. he made Maybe points, his best know. half as a Clipper that first half. Yeah, like he actually made shots. He got a quarter three, you know. Yeah, one the, of them. The classic P.J. Tucker quarter three, you know. Minnesota on Tuesday? Yep. Feeling good about it? Oh, yeah. Thank you, Mason. Yeah. Woo. All right, I will see you too on Tuesday. Thank you, bro. Uh, Outside Staples Center where the Clippers have just taken a narrow L to the Bucks without 2-1-3. Trisha? Two nights in a row or two days in a row you've been here, just like me. How are you feeling? You know what? I'm not mad. I feel like without PG and Kawhi, we still really put up a fight. And I feel like there is something about watching Dame Lillard and Giannis play together and our little menace, Pat Bev, that I will love forever, despite what he puts us through on other teams. They play beautiful basketball. It was a wonderful game to watch. It was a close game. If you genuinely love basketball, you loved watching the game. And despite being a Clipper fan and being very bummed that we lost, I'm happy we put up a fight even without our, our main players. Speaking of without our main players, what did you think of our other guys? You know, a bunch of guys stepped up, some guys we don't normally get minutes from. What did you, any standouts for you? I loved watching BBJ play. I thought that was really fun. It's been a little while since we've got to see him, and I feel like he... He's shown us what he can do. Like, he's very capable, team man. He stays being great. Norm Powell is, I am a die-hard Lou Will fan. He is six man of my life. But man, Norm Powell said six man of the year is his. Like, he is clutch as fuck. And Harden played well. Minnesota on Tuesday, feeling good about it? If everyone plays, I am. I think they will. Appreciate it. Any last words to the people? Love y'all. Thank you. Thanks. Outside Staples Center where the Clippers have just taken a narrow loss to the Milwaukee Bucks. First game of the season that we didn't have 2-1-3. And I thought our effort was really great. I actually had a really good time. I thought the boys played one of their most complete games since the All-Star break of actually playing hard for two halves. 
Uh, our rotations were good. The way we collapsed on Giannis was good. I thought Zoo did a good job on Giannis. I thought Zoo had his best game in a while. The last three halves of basketball he's played has been, have been very good. Finishing strong on that roll, on the short roll, getting rebounds. And um, yeah, I liked the way he was playing. And then other guys, Bones Highland gave us some good minutes. When Harden came back in the game, I was actually a little disappointed because he was playing really well. But I understand, you know, get your best player on the court back into the game. And then Brandon Boston, he did not hit. But his defensive effort was amazing. That dunk on Giannis was great. So it just goes to prove my point that Brandon is actually has defensive potential. And if you watch him play consistently over the last couple years for us, you see that he does. He just was shot hunting a little too much in the beginning, but it is what it is. Uh, at the end of the day, Dame was huge. You know, we went with that drop coverage and we got burned. At times we tried to sh uh, went to that high drop. He found Giannis in the short roll. Giannis got like nine assists. So you got to pick your poison. There was one time we even. Got the ball out of Giannis and Dame's hands, and Brooke Lopez made a three. So that's the tough part about this Milwaukee Bucks team. No doubt in my mind, if we have Kawhi and Paul George, obviously it's different. But our effort was really good. Can't really fault it. And, um, yeah, tough game. At the end of the day, I don't agree with the load management. I don't agree with, you know, if you can play, we got to try to get every game we can. But I understand the circumstances weren't favorable. Two games in 22 hours is, like, inhumane. But James Harden had to do it, and he's just as old, if not older, than Kawhi and Paul George. I know Kawhi and Paul George have had a little bit more, you know, nicks and bruises and little injuries this year, but I know I'm in the minority with that take. I am, but I still stand by you got to play whenever you can. It is what it is. The organization was okay with losing, so fine. And I'm not going to be mad about it, but if we don't get a top three seed, we're not winning the championship. I still stand on that shit ten toes. Anyway, love the Mirror Coffee, Terrence Mann. Terrence Mann and, and Amir Coffee, especially Terrence, has been playing really well since the All-Star break. Amir been playing better the last couple of games and I love what we got from our bigs it just wasn't enough for a, a Bucks team that played well and we shot like shit from three so if we had shot better from three maybe we would have had a chance but it is what it is I had a good time Minnesota next that concludes the three days in a row at Staples Center I hope you enjoyed every bit of it I had a great time at every single one and yeah just like subscribe and let me know what you think peace